Welcome to BP Solar and our Material Safety Data Sheet Training Program. We use hazardous materials throughout our facility. All of them are considered hazardous by OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, and we are required to have material safety data sheets for each of these hazardous materials. All of the acids, the bases, and even lubricating oils are considered hazardous by OSHA. Hazardous gases, including ammonia and silane, also must have a material safety data sheet. Most aerosol cans and the isopropyl alcohol that we use routinely are also considered hazardous. Even the floor degreaser has a material safety data sheet. As part of our hazard communication program, material safety data sheets are an important element. MSDSs must be available for all employees who would like to read about certain chemicals. If you are concerned about the hazards of a particular substance, just find the MSDS. Almost all MSDSs are made up in 16 different sections. The first two sections of an MSDS identify the product by name and also, if it's a mixture, identifies all the components. Section 3 identifies exactly what the hazards are, whether it's flammable, poison, dangerous, or whatever. Potential health effects are always indicated if we inhale it, ingest it, or get it on our skin. One of the most important sections, first aid measures, are indicated usually in section 4. This is where it will tell us what to do if someone is overexposed. Firefighting measures are always indicated in section 5. If there is a fire, it will tell us what kind of extinguisher to use. If we have a chemical spill, Section 6 will tell us how to respond and clean it up. Also very important is Section 8, Exposure Controls and Personal Protective Equipment. This section will also tell us what OSHA allows as a maximum exposure limit. Many other technical details are also included on MSDSs, including Flashpoint, pH if it's an acid, and other important details. Some materials will react with others when they come in contact. Section 10 identifies the reactivity and stability of the material and other things to avoid. Many hazardous materials have been tested in laboratories to determine what the long-term health hazard effects could be. Most hazardous materials become hazardous wastes when they are disposed of. Section 13 and 14 discusses the disposal considerations and the proper shipping descriptions. If other regulations apply to this material, Section 15 will advise. If additional hazard details are known about this material, it will be listed in Section 16. All chemicals can be used safely if we follow the guidance provided in the material safety data sheets. Please read them.